So welcome guys to another episode of Game of the Goons. And it's another how to play of a new board game called The Resistance. As a group of people called The Resistance take on missions to try and overthrow the dystopian government. Unfortunately, the dystopian government have sent spies to try and sabotage these said missions. Will the spies succeed in their goal and sabotage the mission before the Resistance can overthrow the government? Will the Resistance win and finally overthrow that dystopian government and turn the tide back to ensure their freedom. Let's find out in this how to play. And welcome to the Resistance. So this is a game by Don Eskridge. And it's a primarily bluffing game where two spies try and infiltrate a team of five to 10 players, classes of the Resistance, who are trying to complete their mission to overthrow a dystopian government. So the goal of the resistance, as indicated by these tokens, is to win three of the missions before the spies can sabotage them. Obviously it's best out of five, so whoever's first to three wins. There's also a vote track here, and if this reaches five, the spies also win. Now to explain the voting and the reason the vote track goes up. So, first of all, you get two spies for the game. As indicated by the spy character cards here, they're still out face down. And you also get all the resistance players. Everyone closes their eyes at the start of the game, and the spies, the two spies, open their eyes and locate each other. Everyone closes their eyes again and reopens them. And then the game begins. The first player, as indicated by this token, goes first. They pick and choose. The players they want for each mission as indicated by the numbers here so the first mission needs two people second mission needs three people two people three people and so on this is for a five player game with two spies once the once the leader has chosen and given the players the corresponding tokens all players then begin a vote which will increase the vote track if the vote fails. And that's done by these two approve and reject tokens. It's majority rules, so if majority say approve, the mission goes ahead. If majority say it doesn't go ahead, then the leader token goes to the next player and the, the team is choosed again with the corresponding voting. If the team has selected and has been approved, then players on the mission begin to vote. They're allowed to vote at success or fail. Bear in mind, fail card can only be played by a spy. For the first two missions, it's likely to succeed, as a spy might not want to give away themselves too early. If there is one single fail card during a mission, the mission fails and the spies win. As indicated by the folks, if five reject tokens are played in succession, the vote track will go up and reach five. This also means the spy wins. So it's a fairly simple game and it's hard to master as accurate accusation will be thrown across the board and across the table. Who can you trust? Who can you rely on? And we'll find out in a playthrough coming soon. Remember to like and subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit the bell button to get notified of our upcoming videos and keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages for more going on in the gaming world.